Good Tuesday, everyone. Look at our weather map for today. We see unsettled weather to our west, but here in our neck of the woods and points eastward, it's looking pretty good again today. High pressure is in control. That's centered in Alabama and another one centered in West Virginia. On the right side of those highs, we have a northerly breeze and low humidity. And on the left-hand side of the high, you have a southerly breeze and humidity coming off the Gulf of Mexico. And that humidity is going to spark off some showers from Louisiana all the way to North Dakota. And those become severe thunderstorms when you get into Minnesota and Wisconsin. So an active day for those folks. But uh, anyway, but in our neck of the woods, looking pretty good. And it's looking pretty good for our five-day forecast as well. Clouds and sun today, highs in the low 80s. Wednesday and Thursday, just a 30% chance for a shower or a thunderstorm. Highs in the low 80s on Wednesday, around 80 on Thursday. It looks like the better rain chance may come Wednesday night with that activity, but still, 30% just isn't much. Friday and Saturday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 70s. Overnight lows in the mid to upper 50s. Very pleasant conditions. They'll probably extend right on into Sunday. On this day, 1925, the temperature at Centerville, Alabama soared to 112 degrees to establish a state record. Every reporting station in Alabama was 100 degrees or above that afternoon. That's pretty impressive. And in 1954, Crossville records its highest ever September temperature reading of 99 degrees. Nashville does the same with a reading of 105 degrees. So highest September temperature readings ever on this date in 1954. In 2017, Hurricane Irma becomes the most powerful hurricane ever recorded in the Atlantic Basin with winds of 185 miles per hour. We've probably had other storms that were stronger, but they weren't officially recorded. You folks have a wonderful Tuesday and keep looking up. For more weather information, just keep reading along in the blog, meteorologistmark.com.